Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. If you're looking for a new 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery, then you definitely wanna check out this one here. This is from SunFun Kits. This is their new 275 EX, and it's packed with a ton of features. Now, the first thing I noticed when I took this out of the box was how compact this is. This is a 275 amp hour battery. And for reference, I have a 100 amp hour battery over there, and I have a 200 amp hour battery over here. They've designed this in a way that is extremely compact. There is no wasted space. For example, when sitting side by side next to my 100 amp hour battery, you can see it's just a few inches taller and looking from the top down, it's about one inch thicker. This is crazy for a battery that has almost three times the capacity. Now I flipped the battery around so you can see the sticker that they have on the other side with all this information. For example, this battery is made in the United States with both foreign and domestic components. They have an eight year warranty on this battery if you have any issues or questions, you can reach out to SunFun Kits with this phone number and this email address. Now, breaking down some of the features for this battery, it does have built-in thermal heating pads and low temperature charging protection for cold climates. It does have Bluetooth connectivity and it also has an app available for iOS or Android. Now, for actual specification numbers, it's rated at 275 amp hours of capacity or 3.6 kilowatt hours. You can also pull 2200 watts peak power from this, and that's for up to 120 seconds because that's around 200 amps. They do recommend 125 amp continuous discharge, which is around 1500 watts, a little bit higher than that. They can charge at 160 amps input. It has a five amp active cell balancer, which is nice to keep the cells all at the same voltage. It's rated at 6,000 charge cycles, and you can also wire this together in a 4S configuration for a 48 volt battery, and they can also be connected together in parallel. Now taking a closer look at the top of the battery, SunFun Kits actually sent out this prototype clear lid, so you can see the internal components. That's pretty cool. Over here you have a built-in RJ45 for hardware integration. Right here you have your main positive terminal and your main negative terminal, and then you have the Gen 2 switch right here. Now the Gen 2 switch allows you to turn on and off Bluetooth with the press of a button. It also allows you to change the modes on the active balancer. And you can also turn on and off the heat pads manually by pressing this button. Now one really cool feature about this prototype with the clear lid is that this actually has RGB LEDs on the inside. Now what they're doing is they're working in the future to integrate this to the BMS app so that it could potentially tell you when the battery is getting close to dying. For example, it could flash red if it was going to die. It could flash green when it's completely full. And maybe if you just wanted to light up a space, you could just turn on a white light and it lights up wherever it's at. So if you need to work on the battery or whatever, you're gonna have light just right there. Now, currently you have to use a separate app to control the RGB LEDs, but they did tell me that they wanna work this into the actual BMS app. So you have one app to control everything. But it's so cool to have this clear lid with the RGB LEDs, and you can basically just choose any color. Now, what about the actual performance for this battery? Of course, it has all these advertised specifications, but I like to do my own individual testing to see how it performs. So let's go ahead and jump into those results. The first test that I wanted to do on the battery was to see if I could get the full rated capacity of 275 amp hours. So I charged the battery up to 14.6 volts, I then connected up my inverter and inline shunt and started discharging the battery at a 0.2C rate at 70 degrees ambient. After about five hours, my inverter was shutting off from low voltage, so I checked the shunt and we pulled a total of 296 amp hours or 3,780 watt hours. Now, speaking of capacity, well, I noticed in the back of the owner's manual when I first got this that they already had a full benchmark to this battery that they tested before sending it out. Now they were able to pull 295 amp hours and 3.8 kilowatt hours, so very similar to my results. And they also provided me an online portal where I could view those actual results. So that was pretty cool. Now I asked them specifically, how often are they doing this extra in-depth testing? And they said that one in every 10 batteries goes through this extra testing. Now they did tell me that every single battery that is sent to them from the manufacturer is capacity tested and they are matched together to get the best performance in your specific battery. In the next test, I wanted to see if we could pull the maximum continuous output of 1500 watts for 20 minutes without the battery shutting down. So I connected up my inverter and a 1500 watt heater and looking at my inline shunt, I was pulling about 125 amps and a little over 1500 watts. Now checking in 20 minutes later, the battery was still powering the load 
it handled the full 125 amps or a little over 1500 watts with no issues. Now what about testing the low temperature charging protection and the built-in heating pads? Well, I left the battery out overnight on a cool evening and in the morning it was 18 degrees. I connected up my adjustable charger to see what would happen and instead of charging, the battery was taking that power and putting it into the heating pads, warming up the battery. The battery started out at around 35 degrees and after 40 minutes or so, it was up around 42 degrees and the battery started charging. So pretty cool to be able to use a battery like this in cooler climates. Now, if you are planning to use this battery in a cold climate for an extended period of time, I would recommend building some sort of insulation around this. Now, luckily SFK does sell this insulated bag for this battery. It has super thick walls, very good, decent construction. The top zips closed. You have two handles to carry it around. And then also on this side, you have an inlet and outlet for your main positive and negative terminals. Now they do have an adapter they sell on their website that connects to the main positive and negative comes through these holes and then it leaves you with a large Anderson power pole connection. Now I'm always curious about the build quality of the batteries that I test on the channel. So I wanna see if I can take this lid off. It appears that there are four individual screws that are removable. Now, obviously this is a clear lid you can see inside. They're definitely proud of what's in there, but let's see if we can take this off and take a look inside. Now the lid came off fairly easily after removing those four screws. I noticed right away that they have a rubber gasket along the inside of the battery that lines up with the outside of the case to give it a good seal. Right here you have your BMS or battery management system. This monitors the individual cells of each of the batteries inside. There are four batteries wired together in series to make a 12 volt battery. I noticed that there are two temperature sensors coming off the BMS. There's one taped to a cell over here and then there's another taped to a cell over here and that's for your low temperature charging protection. I also noticed another temperature sensor coming off the uh, switch that's on the outside of the case. Now you have dual six aug cables coming into the negative portion of the BMS, dual six aug going out, same with the positive terminal. So very good wiring. Now you do have the Bluetooth module over here so you can connect via the smart app. Whenever that's running, you'll notice a very faint blue light enabled. And then you also have the RGB LED lights that are connected to the battery as well. Now I've gone ahead and removed the BMS enough that we can see underneath to the cells. So there are four 280 amp hour brand new cells here. They have these nice welded on terminals with these bus bars connecting them. You can see the heating pads going between each of the cells and you also have your active balancer up underneath right here. I love that this has like a 3D printed bracket that is compressing all the cells together and it's holding everything in place. Just really good build quality on the inside of this. Well, it took me about five minutes to put everything back together and I have the Bluetooth enabled. Everything looks good back on the battery so it appears that I got everything put back together properly. Okay guys, we saw really good build quality with this battery. We also saw very good performance when we tested it. Let's go ahead and break down the current pricing. So if you look on Sun Fun Kit's website, this is currently priced at $1,150. I also have a $40 off discount code I'll include down in the video description. Now keep in mind with 3,600 watt hours or so, that's around 31 cents per watt hour. And this also has extra features like the Bluetooth connectivity. I love that you can turn that on and off if you want. This also has the built-in five amp cell balancer and also the heating pads. So you can use this year round. Now, if you wanna save a little bit of extra money, you can actually purchase these same batteries as a kit, meaning that you put it together yourself. You'll save around hundred dollars. You have to go on their website and click on the kits. And then you can see all the different options available there. So just keep in mind, you can purchase this as a pre-assembled battery or you can put it together yourself and save a little bit of money. If you currently purchase one of these, it will not come with a clear lid with the RGB lights. This is definitely a prototype. It will come with a yellow or black top. But hey, if you are super interested in this prototype, you could reach out to Sun Fun Kits. They are a local US company in Louisiana. Remember, they have the phone number and the email address that I showed earlier. You could express you know, interest in this prototype and maybe they have some sort of option for you. I think it'd be really cool to integrate these lights in here to kind of show you when it's charging or discharging, when the battery's low or full. And also just to be able to use the lights as just an ambient light source, that's really cool. 
Well, now that we're coming to the end of the video, you guys will have to let me know what you think about the 275EX from SunFun Kits. This is definitely a very impressive product. This is the first time that I've reviewed one of their products before. I appreciate them sending it out for the testing in this video. I was impressed by the amount of power that they could fit into this small package. Now you'd have to let me know down in the comment section how you would use a battery like this. I think with the heating pads, it'd be a great year round overlanding setup. You could also use this as a car camping setup. You could use this in your RV or even as a home backup because you can put these in series for up to 48 volts. If you guys like the video, please smash the thumbs up button. I'll recommend a couple other videos that you can check out if you're interested. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll see you guys in the next video.